Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Pony here, Overtime Athletes. Uh, one video I wanted to address to you guys today. Um, for some of you, it's pretty uh, amateur or beginner level, but it's something that I get, uh, I often get um, commented on or asked about. And it's a lot of you young athletes who tell me your, your weight, your age, um, and you, you guys tell me your lifts uh, in, in pertaining to what sport you play and you want to know if that's good enough it's acceptable range of where you're at is that a good benchmark you know so you tell me hey i squat you know 300 pounds i bench press 200 pounds whatever it may be i often get these questions and what i wanted to do was kind of clear up some air and address the two types of strength and which one you should be focusing on so to give you a heads up, obviously there's relative and absolute strength. Now relative strength is relative to your own body weight, right? So if you're 200 pounds and you're squatting two and a half times your body weight, you have some good relative strength, right? Absolute strength is how strong you are in comparison to almost anybody. So if you have somebody who's squatting a thousand pounds, his absolute strength is through the roof. That's just what it is. Um, he has a great overall ability to overcome resistance. Now, as an athlete and as a young athlete at that, I think it's very important for you guys to focus on relative body strength. Why? Because this is what's going to transfer over to the field. When you're on the field court or in the ring, you have no barbell with you. There is no benchmark. There is no movement like that. We train movements to be able to transfer onto the field. And when you're performing any kind of uh, hip extension, hip flexion, if you're performing any kind of cutting agility or speed drill, all of these pertain to how well your relative strength is. So that's why I say it's so important for athletes to focus on having that great relative body strength and to go a step further, you need to be performing certain body weight movements such as plyometrics, such as speed drills, such as basic body weight movements like push-ups, squats, and lunges to build an overall great uh, structure or foundation for you to, to then start to go over to the weights and build upon as far as that. Um, but it's really about, that relative strength is about being balanced and coordinated in your own body so you're not that awkward, gangly athlete who might be able to throw up some weight, but then when you go ahead and get on the field, you just feel like you're completely off because you can't move within your own body. So I hope that helps. Make sure that you guys are focusing on relative strength, body weight in the beginning, focusing then putting it over to good relative body strength and then uh, progressing to having great absolute strength. I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in more body weight training, especially for the power athletes, if you're interested in how to jump higher, run faster, things of that nature with no weights whatsoever, go ahead and check out these advanced lessons that I've made for you right here and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so for my videos right here. Hodge you guys next time.